Hello students, welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. Today we are going to compute Fourier transform of the following sequence. So here they have given that x of t is e power minus t t minus 1 into u of t minus 1. We know that u of t is a step signal which is given by 1 for 0 to infinity that is u of t you can write it as 1 for 0 to infinity. So here they have given that it is u of t minus 1 if it is u of t minus 1 meaning that it is time shifting operation. So u of t minus 1 represents time shifting operation. So this is the original signal for u of t but we need to find out u of t minus 1. So u of t minus 1 means whatever we have within the bracket that we need to substitute to 0. So t minus 1 equal to 0 so t is equal to 1. So each and every value of t here in u of t we need to shift it by 1. For example, here the value of t it is 0, 0 plus 1 becomes 1 and then infinity plus 1 becomes infinity. So 0 to infinity the amplitude 1 has been shifted to 1 to infinity as this. So the amplitude is 1. So 0 to infinity has been shifted to 1 to infinity why because 0 plus 1 it is 1 infinity plus 1 it is infinity. So now this is the signal u of t minus 1. So why we are finding that because they have given that in the expression itself u of t minus 1. So u of t minus 1 value is amplitude is 1 and this exists for duration 1 to infinity. 1 to infinity. So this is the first step which we need to find out about u of t minus 1. So the expression x of t I can write it as e power minus 2 t minus 1 and u of t minus 1 value is nothing but 1 and this equation will be existing only from 1 to infinity. So once you have determined that then we can compute the Fourier transform directly. We know that the Fourier transform formula is x of e power j omega which is given by 0 to infinity x of t e power minus j omega t dt. So this is the formula for the Fourier transform. So instead of 0 to infinite now only we have determined that x of t is existing only for 1 to infinity. So instead of 0 to infinite I have to rewrite the limits as 1 to infinite and what is x of t? x of t it is e power minus 2 t minus 1 and u of t minus value is 1 and then in the formula we have e power minus j omega t dt. So once you have written that just simplify the expression within the integration and then do the integration. So it is 1 to infinity just split, split this term. It is e power minus 2t and then e power minus 2 into minus 1. It is nothing but e power plus 2 and then 1 you can leave and then e power minus j omega t dt. So these are all the exponential terms available in the within the integration. So here it is 1 to infinity. So what are all the constants available here? There is no t terms here. So e power 2 is the constant that you can take outside. So other two terms, other two exponential terms you can combine. So what are all the two terms available? e power minus 2t, e power minus j omega t. So these two terms you can combine. So outer we have e power 2, 1 to infinity. And since in the limit we have infinite, let us take e power minus t outside. So take e power minus t outside. So what are all the terms available? Here it is 2, here it is plus j omega. When you take e power minus t outside, here we have 2, here we have plus j omega and then dt. Why we are taking minus t instead of plus t? Why? Because means suppose if we have integration with the term e power minus t, right? 0 to infinite. When you integrate this, it, it will become e power minus t divided by minus 1. And then if you substitute your terms as infinite, what happens? e power minus infinite by minus 1. So e power minus infinite becomes 0. So this will get cancelled. But if you take e power t, then you will get e power plus infinite which will become infinite. So I should not take e power plus t in the integration. I should always take e power minus t term 
why because my limit it is infinite. So, you have to note that e power minus infinite is 0, e power infinite is infinite. So, I should not have your e power infinite term. So, I should not take e power t term outside, e power minus t only you have to take. So, that you have to consider while doing the integration. So, once you have done that, we can do the integration part e power 2 and then just integrate this term, it is e power minus t 2 plus j omega. So, we know that e power minus a t, the integration it is given by e power minus a t by minus a. So, using that formula, it is e power minus t 2 plus j omega divided by t coefficient. What is the t coefficient? It is minus of 2 plus j omega. So, that will come in the denominator. So, once we have done that, we, we have to consider your limits, lower limit and upper limit. So, once you have done that, just substitute your upper limit as well as lower limit. While substituting your upper limit, wherever we have t, substitute your upper limit as infinite. So, it is e power minus infinite. Anyway, infinite into any term, it is going to be infinite. So, you can just take e power minus infinite for the numerator and denominator it is minus 2 plus j omega. And then minus into minus will become plus. While substituting your lower limit, I have to introduce another minus sign. So, minus into minus will become minus and wherever we have t just substitute it as 1. So, e power minus 1 2 plus j omega and then denominator term it is 2 plus j omega. Why? Because minus into minus it has become already plus. So, now this is the term available and we know that e power minus infinite is 0. So, this term completely becomes 0. So, first term completely becomes 0. Why? Because 0 by any term it is 0. And then outer term it is e power 2 and then inside we have e power minus of 2 plus j omega. So, let us make your minus 1 into 2 that is split your exponential term. So, minus 1 into 2 it is minus 2. So, first term it is e power minus 2. Second term it is minus into plus which becomes minus and then 1 into j omega it is j omega. So, I am splitting this term into two terms. One term it is e power minus 2, another term it is e power minus j omega. And then denominator it is 2 plus j omega. So, now we know that this term and this term get cancelled because e power 2, e power minus 2 will become 1. e power 2 into e power minus 2 is what? e base is the same. So, 2 minus 2 it is 0. So, e power 0 it is 1. So, r just like that you can cancel out e power 2 and e power minus 2 which becomes 1. Finally, the answer in the numerator it is e power minus j omega denominator it is 2 plus j omega. So, this is the final answer for the given problem. So, this is nothing but your Fourier transform of the given expression that is nothing but x of e power j omega. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.